Morning, morning. I can't even fucking talk. I didn't sleep well. Monday, it's a great Monday morning, except for if you don't sleep well. And um, we're just going to get into it. Football started. Sadly, my Cowboys lost by one. Um, they're bagging on Terrence Williams for not trying to turn out of bounds. I don't know. Um, you know what? But there were signs of good stuff. Um, Giants loaded the box against Zeke, so I don't know what to tell you about the running game. But uh, the defense... They only gave up 20 points, but the defense um, not having guys that were should be available, but they like the weed, so they got suspended. That's kind of a problem, so hopefully they'll figure something out. Uh, but uh, Giants made plays, and Cowboys didn't, so that's life. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to get into the shave. Um, we're going to start with a couple products I haven't used yet. Some are new that I just got over the weekend. I was in Houston, Cubs and Strohs. Cubs lost that game, but they won. Friday and they won Sunday, so in the uh, fourth games tonight in the set in Houston. We're going to go with Steam Bath, Steam Bath Factory. This is Wizard Pipe. Now, the tub doesn't have labeling on it. Amanda and her partner there, um, they're swamped with, uh, they were swamped with, one time I ordered this, um, getting stuff ready for, you know, as being, getting stuff ready for their, uh, their aftermarket, their, you know, the retailers. So, but it eventually came, and I got Aquarius with it, which is a very nice scent. I'm an Aquarius too, so is she. So I was like, eh, you know, maybe she gets the idea. But this is a cherry pipe tobacco. Like I said, it's called Wizard's Pipe. You can figure out if you're enough of a nerd. It's a Lord of the Rings reference to Gandalf. So the scent is very much like a maraschino cherry to me. I don't know how much tobacco I pick up, but I do love maraschino cherries. It's kind of a reminder of my childhood when I would drink a lot of Roy Rogers, which is really grenadine, not cherry, but very close. Um, I've shaved with it before. Uh, it's a little softer soap, but uh, I like it. I was very pleased with its performance. And since it is a tobacco scent and along the uh, cherry line, I'm going to pair it with Phoenix Arson Accoutrements Cavendish. Uh, I just got this in. I ordered Seam Cavendish. Um, I, I also got the, uh, the uh, Bakelite Slant from Douglas. Um, I ordered something else, but I'm gone. I'm just stupid. Uh, I, got, I, got, I ordered three ASs. Anyway, and Cavendish, much more of tobacco smell, probably close to it, um, that, but it will pair nicely with the, with the Wizard's Pipe. And another new arrival that was on my porch when I got home yesterday from my road trip, Stray Whisker the Aftershave Balm. I was very excited. I've been eyeballing this, but I'm sitting there going, do I want to pay shipping from Australia? Because I, you know, uh, John Perry in my local area, if, if a lot of you know him, if you do watch my videos, um, Firefighter in the, in the, the uh, suburbs outside San Antonio and I believe Selma, John, correct me if I'm wrong, Selma shirts, he worked in the Selma shirts by Sybil to support all that area. Uh, I used a little of this uh, last night just to put some on and it's amazing, it's not heavy, it's actually, I, I would say it's a tad lighter in the face feel than my uh, Art of Shaving after shave Balm, which I, I like a lot. Um, I'm very impressed, it's got a light scent but it, it fades quickly, um, I don't know if it's the eucalyptus and the menthol. I don't know if there's eucalyptus in there. Tom, I'm sorry. Um, I thought it would be anyway. No, I don't think there is, but aloe vera juice, uh, a lot of different oils, the hobo oil, macadamia oil, uh, shea butter, um, sweet almond oil. Okay, no, so I misspoke there, which I seem to misspoke, misspeak on a few things. I said ounces. It should be grams on the uh, slant razor. Somebody called me out on that because I ramble like a retard. And I mean retard, like they're not trying to be offensive. Sorry. Language is language. The actions of Carol. I've said that before. Anyway, um, while I get ready, uh, I'm gonna I'm out of the shower, so I'm gonna wet the face, and we're gonna load. Uh, we're gonna use uh, the the um, standard razor with a uh, Persona Lab Blue. I did a cursory shave, a couple passes yesterday to clean up, so I was going out meet a couple friends for a Cowboys game, and I'm gonna use the the soft 24 mil Razor Rock Italian flag pole barber pole handle brush. So razor was warming up. So I want to get into something interesting. Uh, I watched uh, David Gonzalez's um, video. He uh, did his shave first shave with the uh, I think it was his first shave with the uh, Bakelite, and he brought up that he got kind of I guess called out maybe maybe by Marty Pate. I don't know Sly. I guess that's his nickname. Shows me I'm not paying attention. Probably was. I have a feeling because I just watched the majority of the. 32 minute version due to apparently production issues uh, or connection issues anyway and I get his point um, about not being able to talk about things and 
feeling like it's a little structured. And I was watching it going, you know, he's right. And he talked about other people making videos and how they really work in, you know, they, they get stuck in a rigidity. And that's my word, but to me that's what I'm saying. Like, they're doing things. I, here I am, I just, I'm off the cuff. And I, I got my stupid tablet here, sitting cockeyed, so you get like two-thirds of my face, um, and I babble. And that's fine. And I like David. Um, I, I, we're friends on Facebook. I mean, he's a fairly new friend. We obviously haven't met face-to-face. Face face. But the Big Shave West 3, I plan to. You know, he likes cigars. I, I like cigars, but not to the amount he does, so I'm looking for a little education from him. Um, I like people's, knowing people's hobbies and learning what makes other people tick. It's just cool, you know? It's nice to know, I mean, it's a good thing to have friends, but to really know these people, you know, whether it's hobbies, I mean, you're not going to always break bread with them because we live all over the country, but, you know, so you have that familiarity so you can, you know, bring up a question or something and, you know, it's just, it's just that, it's just that, you know, per, um, that friendship building and things that's important. And, and David has, you know, he has opinions on things. He expresses them on Facebook, like a lot of us do. And I think he has a very well-balanced opinion about, you know, what's right, wrong, why people do things. Uh, you know, sometimes maybe we don't give enough perspective to the people we're angry at. And he admits sometimes when they're misguided, you know, that's another thing too, but he says, so look at both sides of the picture and take that into account, you know, which is kind of fair. I mean, that's absolutely fair. Not kind of, sorry, that's my inherited um, understatement uh, speaking pattern I have. Now, I agree with him. I mean, I agree with that, the philosophy of it. I don't have to agree with the opinion we develop, but as long as it's done, and I've said this on a few other videos, done from a studied place where you've looked at the sides, you've done some research, and then you've developed your opinion yeah, you're not just flying off the cuff without, you know, getting the whole picture as best you can. Standard rays are so mild. Now, like I said, did do a cursory couple pass shave. Not a not a hardcore with same razor, same blade. This is technically a second shave on this blade. But I guess Marty called him out. For looking a little in a malaise, I guess on the uh, on the round table, and he brought that up in his video, and so I actually, I mean, we can see it if you watch it, but I understand why, and I have a thought, and when I get this published, I'm going to tag all my friends. And those who are at least in a form or two, and when on the uh, box, on the Facebook post, um, besides tagging them, I'm going to pitch those questions because I have a thought about the round table. And I'm fairly new to this, and I'm not looking to jump on board. You know, eventually, you know, I don't, I'm not always, I'm not always there when it goes up, you know, live on Saturday on the, um, on the platform. So I'm not looking to take anyone's spotlight. I mean, I wouldn't mind jumping in when it's a hot seat episode, just to, you know, put fake. Um, of course, I met Douglas. Uh, I haven't met Rico um, or Khan if he when he makes his appearance. I haven't met David. So the only people I have some face to face with could be a possible guest or two, like he has Adam, Adam Lindbergh. And I'm just bringing up the folks that are, you know, either artisans or are kind of regulars on the round table. Um, I haven't met Peter formally yet. I'd like to. Peter seems awesome. <laughs> it's just, um, but I like I like building those relationships. Just a, a personal relationships. You know, not, not, like I said, but I'm not looking to get in on the game as a regular. I don't have the equipment. I mean, it would be off a, uh, I'd have to sit there on my little netbook with headphones. Now, granted, other ones do it off their phone. Well, before it went to a, a PC, PC Mac platform only. That's okay, I can do it, but that's not what I'm looking for with this. I'm just looking to, you know, enjoy shaves and learn people and... But, I do enjoy the round table and I want the main guys, you know, the four horsemen, let's say, which 
normally are Douglas, Scott, uh, David, and usually a guest. So it's really the three horsemen and whoever. But if, like if it's just like say Rico or Khan, you know, three horsemen and the rotating person. I want them to enjoy it, but I understand David's point, and I I I, I totally agree in a way. So maybe. While you rotate, maybe not so many hot seats. You know, if you do once a month hot seat, maybe every other month, you open up the uh, spectrum broader. You can make it part of the hot seat. Since you, yeah, that'd be good. Make it part of the hot seat, but make it like every other week or once in the month. Or I don't know. Um, maybe have more hot seats on. I don't know. Well, basically, what I'm saying is. Let's try, as a community, since this community has been very, I'd say very positive overall, even when we disagree, let's open up, you know, what we can, what we talk about. And I'm not talking about, it doesn't have to be a lot of the hot button political topics or sports topics, we're definitely not talking about slagging on vendors and stuff. Because when you got a problem with somebody, you go to them direct. But maybe we could open dialogue just on topics as part of a, a hot table, a, a hot seat episode. Because I think, I think, you know, I understand those who have to protect brands need to do that and that, that's perfectly fine that's acceptable but not everyone does we don't have a brand to protect and maybe there's other stuff we want to talk about I mean a new shiny toy is great new soap new aftershave but that can get stale now the risk is of course when you get newer shavers let's say they're coming in this you know next few months because they're always new ones and thank goodness because uh, this hobby's great um, Maybe if they jump in to the fire too fast, they risk getting turned off. But I think that's a risk you have to take because, I mean, we're not aiming to be, you know, a news outlet and we're, but it's still a small community. Maybe we can grow it by talking about other stuff and shaving within the same time frame. But, so I'm gonna tag folks once this is published, like I said, and I'm going to pitch those questions. And just just your thoughts. Now, I'm not trying to piss on anybody or piss off anybody, um, but I see David's point, and I respect it. A few other videos out there. Leonard's got the, Leonard Ibarra's got the Dorco, I don't call it a starter kit. And it's got a 20% discount code, Leonard Ibarra 20, if you go to DorcoUSA.com. It's basically a Wishi, which I've never used. It's kind of like the, basically, it's the model that was, uh, you know, the was the one razor or whatever that Rick from Pawn Stars was using, you know, talking. And it's got, looks like three, three five packs of Dorco FC301s, which I've used, and Leonard got two shaves, and that's about what I got out, but I got two good shaves off those Dorcos. So for a low price point, like seven cents a blade, uh, good blades. Good blades. He's got more hair. I got probably the same coarseness. I just can't grow the epicness that he does or has. So, I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take that into consideration. About, um... Opening up the the possibilities on the uh, round table, and for me, it's maybe it's my morbid curiosity about what are people's opinions. Who are they away from away from the public? And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean I guess it's because. And I brought this up in another video, sort of. I, you know, I mentioned I, was, I had a great therapist in St. Louis, and I had to learn a lot about myself. 
anxiety issues, diagnosed with um, what my what my therapist determined were nonverbal developmental um, learning disabilities, which are like pre-autism spectrum kind of. It could fall if there was a out like if it's on like the spectrum, you know, Roy G. Biv. It could be let's say on the ultraviolet end and right at the edge of uh, or no, it'd be I see infrared end, and then right when you get to the tip of red, that's where like Asperger's would start. But I have no problem, you know, making com having conversations and making eye contact and all that. It just has driven some anxiety and stuff that. I've had to learn to, you know, work with as an adult. And no shame in that. No shame. Don't care. I figure you can't damage my brand. I am who I am. And the more honest I am, you know, I mean, we don't have to, we're not 100%. I mean, we're not going to tell you all our little like our dark secrets, you know, but I mean, I'm just saying like, <laughs> I know who I am and I want, I want other people to have that same feeling about themselves. So they don't have to feel uncomfortable. I guess it'd be like nerds finally being able to come out and say, yes, I'm a nerd and not feel like the jocks are going to come beat them up. You know, you know, it's really funny. A, not a great movie, but a precursor to that. Oh, I'm a nerd too. I was a nerd and I was hiding it. Maybe I was somewhere like this in high school and now I'm this way. Airheads, that Brendan Fraser movie with Adam Sandler where they're the band, the Lone Rangers, and they they uh, they take over the radio station. All right, so we're going for a cleanup. Well, it's kind of like that. You know, he was a nerd in high school, played Dungeons and Dragons, and there's Lemmy going, I played D. Oh, he goes, I was the editor of the school newspaper. No, that'll love Lemmy. Rest in, rest in peace, Lemmy. You were you were an interesting soul, my friend. I wish I got to see you in concert, although I've probably been deaf. <laughs> oh, it's Weeperville. Okay, there I am. So, soap's good. Look at that. I mean, it's a good ladder. Like I said before, it seems most artisans make good soap. I've never had a bad one. It's all Ken's technique. So, blah, blah, blah. So be it. Oh, I forgot to watch Paul's video. I'll check that at work. Um, I'll have it running while I'm taking an online class. Trying to get the certifications done. Look a little more proactive when I apply for this job that will be coming out. So anyway, yeah. Uh, not to be redundant, but yeah, I'm gonna pitch that because I really like David's idea. I like this point. He said he's gonna take a break here and there, but he's a busy guy coaching football too. And you know, anytime you're working with kids, that's definitely a positive. Seems like a great role model for a stepson. Happy, good marriage. God, I respect that. I really do. Mine didn't work out, but it happens in life. But, man, when, when you see somebody happy and they're doing what they love, I mean, you can tell when it's genuine. You know, people have passion about something. I mean, like, meeting, uh, meeting Douglas and, you know, having dinner in Houston because we were just hanging out late. Passion for his business. Fucking awesome. I could talk bowling all day if I wanted to. Well, not all day. I, I kind of backed off, but I like helping people improve in bowling. You know, those who like helping people get better shades, I like to help people bowl better if they want to. I'm not. I'm not going to just walk up like a. Oh, you need to do like a, like a cheesy golfer. That's crap. But anyway, right, I'm going to drain and get some rinse going. Get some cold water. Then I'm going to hit the alum up. Ugh. I'm kind of shut down these weepers. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to do the fairs, so I'll get the fairs here.
But let me know what you think in the uh, Facebook comments or if you watch my videos here on YouTube. Uh, let me know what you think about my idea for the round table. And I'm just saying, just as an audience member, I want, I'm pitching the idea. I want no, I don't need any skin in the game. I'm not looking for anything. But I was very intrigued by David's video and his talking about maybe it's not the right form for you know that idea. But let me know because I'm curious about what you all think. And I know not everyone probably watches David's videos. Shit, barely when anyone watches mine. But if you do on Facebook and you'd like to subscribe, please do. It's just KHL the seconds. Shaving and BSing. BSing is BS apostrophe ING, I think. Um, <laughs> but, but anytime I misspeak on a video, grams, ounces, comment, let me know. I know I start thoughts and then I forget about them. I think I started another one. I couldn't even tell you. I have to go back and look at it and say, oh shit, I was talking about, like I did with the Transformers movie, which 30th anniversary edition is coming in my mail tomorrow. Very excited. Animated. 1986. It took two years to make. So if you remember five Dinobots, originally it was three, then they introduced two more. In the movie, you only get four. Why? Because the fifth one hadn't gone off the uh, design table yet for the movie. That's a little detail for you nerds who are, you know, who are old enough to see the movie or have seen it since and, and know about Dinobots and why you only saw four when you know there were five. Um, okay, how are you? Yeah, Weepers look good. Uh, yeah, I'd say a DFS. I could really go in and like buff and buff in some of my thicker areas or my trouble spots, but we're not going for irritation. It's work shave, it's not date shave. And okay, okay, so I'm over 22 minutes, so let's go for the Cavendish. I've had misgivings about tobacco scent. Because I literally cannot tell you. I mean, pipe tobacco I get. I've smelled pipe tobacco. And this is definitely a pipe tobacco. One I would enjoy. Michael, is it Michael Simmons? <laughs> Gentleman with his pipe, his crown royal, and all his uh, shave swag. Man, you love your gear, sir. And respect to you. <laughs> I'm going to tag you in the forums just so I want you to hear that. Because you are, you're a good man and you got a lot of gear. <laughs> and then... Um, I mean, you make you make folks look like amateur hour, but then again, with your pipe smoke and uh, and also Anthony Esposito, all right, the bomb. Con straight whisker aftershave bomb. Again, Con Peter, thank you for partnering for uh, a U.S. distributorship. I know I tagged you on Facebook already. Um, I'm very excited that this is done. So. This bomb has a nice. Because of the oil mix, just a, it's a, it feels very. That's why I thought maybe eucalyptus was in it, not not a cooling type, but just something earthy, a little green. Uh, I don't know, but it's it's the mix of oils, but it's a light fragrance and it fades. It's not going to interfere. So actually, I'm going to put on a little more Cavendish because I want to smell like Gandalf just wafted into my house <sighs> over the top as a cologne part this time. But for those who don't know scene, scene means without, or uh, like scene Kata was a uh, man without a face, um, wrestler, and uh, so this has no fragrance, but you can order for a buck more menthol pack and make it however you want, plus Douglas uh, also talks about, do you know how to handle essential oils? You want to make your own blend neutral. Add your own fragrance. Make something custom. And since I'm dicking around here, what else did I get today? All right, in this last shipment. I'm probably wasting your time. You know what? I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. I think it was just, oh yeah, it's just a two, because I'm retarded, like I said, I don't remember shit for sure. But anyway, 
So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna hit up the Tiege Handley off camera again. Skincare products, um, Tiege.com. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna tag tag people, uh, the big big hitters, and uh, I like your feedback just for curiosity as a as an audience member. And you know, riffing off uh, riffing, not ripping, riffing off uh, the truth's idea about um, how the round table is coming. It intrigued me. So have a great morning, get some great shaves, um, be you, be genuine, um, have no fear. Now I, I say live without fear and I don't mean like that jumping out of plane without fear, but if you truly know yourself, be yourself. Don't be disingenuous because, but don't be an asshole, be a good person, but make sure it's genuinely you and I will see you in a couple days. I'm gonna meet up, well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go a little long. <clears throat> I got a text last night from my friend Aaron. I'm him again, Aaron Ramon, San Antonio, Texas. Flashy Finworks, Etsy store, uh, www.etsy.com. Uh, let's see, forward slash shop, forward slash Flashy Finworks, WRX, Aaron Ramon, San Antonio, Texas. Maker of turned razor handles and brushes, which I failed to mention last time. So Aaron, brushes. Uh, I've seen his work. He also was on the post uh, Houston, you know, Space City uh, shave meetup uh, for for a brief moment on the round table. So you got to see him. Uh, well, nice work, beautiful handles. Uh, he told me about where he gets his supply and what the guy can make for him. And uh, yeah, I'm very impressed. He's got a he's got an intriguing um, experiment coming down the pipeline involving some 3D printing and. Uh, I've seen the razor it's based on. He showed me some pictures, and it's beautiful. Very old school, real neat design, uh, just aesthetically. And I, I think um, this may be something fun if he really nails it, gets a, a good working prototype, and I'm even hoping to test it, you know, just because. Um, first of all, I'm local, so I'd be a immediate feedback <laughs> without having to mail it. But um, again, check him out on the Etsy store. A great guy. So with that, uh, thanks for listening and all my bullshit. You know, it's shaving and BS and as you get it. So, again, take care. Damn it. There we go. ADD. Um, he, Aaron requested, that's why I partly brought him up, because uh, I got the uh, Shavecraft 102, but I also have the uh, X3 Slant uh, that I do a comparison video. We're going to meet up. I'm going to get my X3 Slant back, do the video, then I'm going to borrow the X2 head and also return his 101 since I got a 101. And um, so I'm going to do a slant comparison. I know it's probably been done, but a lot of you are newer, may have not seen it. Or if you just like the way I ramble and do shit, maybe watch mine. Fine. Um, but take care, and I'll stop. <laughs> have a good morning, and I'll see you soon.